So there's been some changes in how you can edit YouTube closed captioning and it's a lot faster than it used to be. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to do this. In order to edit the closed captioning, you're going to go to YouTube Studio. You're going to go to your video list and you're going to select a video. Here's a video I did with talking about how to edit closed captioning videos in YouTube without Classic Studio, which this is, but now I found an extra trick that will make things even better. So we're gonna go ahead and click on subtitles. When you do this, you're going to click on duplicate and edit. Notice I have one here. I was playing around with it before I went ahead and tried this video. So let's click on duplicate and edit. So. The first thing you notice is it's one giant clump of text, which seems difficult to um, follow and it almost seems like, how would I find timing? Well, all I'd have to do is click on assign timings. And this is more typical of what we saw before the change from Classic Studio. But what I want to do is go back to edit as text and I want to select this whole thing and I'm gonna copy it and I'm going to paste it into a Word document. So here's my Word document, and I'll just go ahead and paste it in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the grammar complaints because I know it is one giant sentence. But I, what I can see right off the bat is YouTube is not spelled correctly, which seems kind of strange because you would think YouTube would have the ability to recognize that YouTube should be. Instead of this, let's see, let's go ahead and click on replace and I'm going to replace YouTube with YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and replace all and all of that is fixed. I could go here and just say oh I want English to be capitalized and I notice things like a lot of lowercase i's that should be capitalized. So again I'm going to go to replace I'm going to be a little tricky here. I'm going to put a space after that I because otherwise it'll change all your I's to capital I's and we'll go ahead and replace all. Now some things we want to watch out for, the word captioning is there twice, but it's very likely I said it twice. So I'm not going to change that because the closed captioning should represent what was said, not perfect grammar. But what I do want to do is see how long it would take me to fix the punctuation in this. So I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to time myself and see how long it would take me to fix the closed captioning for this in one giant word file. All right, so it took me five minutes and 25 seconds to go through and correct the punctuation and capitalization. So the issue is, I've done all this work in Word, will it in fact still keep the timings that it had before? So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of this, go back to here, and I'm going to paste this on top of what I had before. And let's go ahead and click on Assign Timings, and let's just pick a section here and see if it's correct. So once you have all the edits done, then you simply click on publish. So let's see if it actually took a long time. So this isn't one of those times. And it looks like my text and my speaking are still aligned. So all we'll do now is we'll hit publish. And if we go to my video. In the past, we've been able to use Classic Studio on YouTube to edit the automatic clip. So when it comes to things... And it even automatically picked my newly edited closed captioning. That was pretty instantaneous. I, there was no delay between publish and when I went ahead to look at the video. So I think this is going to save us all a lot of time. So this is, I think, a game changer. I hate using that phrase. But I think this is going to cut my closed captioning editing time easily in half. I never thought we could take all that text from YouTube, paste it into a Word document, do those edits, and paste it back and the timings would all be there. Now again, I would not do things like delete double words because chances are you did in fact say them twice and that might mess up the timing. But the punctuation and the capitalization, which is something that I always have to fix in the YouTube, not so much the words. The words it gets pretty correctly. but 
not the punctuation or the capitalization. So if I can do that in a Word document, I can do that a lot faster than trying to scroll through the timings in the YouTube. So I hope this helped and good luck on closed captioning your YouTube videos.